another trip to Joanne's. This time we're looking for flannel fabric, which is on sale. <gasps> and I think it's only for today. So, trying to get some really pretty fabric for blankets. I'm trying to try to start doing blankets. my P800 on some minky fabric. Um, doing um, a baby blanket. So we're going to name and some butterflies on it to match. I have a lavender minky. And we're going to put this on the other side, the scut fabric. So we put some butterflies on the design as well. on another video I saw it I'm like well I'll try that just lay it on top as it starts to broader its first stitches um, and I didn't um, the one thing I didn't do um, before I put this Mickey on the hoop was I did not spray the um, stabilizer with 505 spray I figured it doesn't need it because it's inside the hoop so now if I was floating it I would spray 505, but I didn't. More to come. I will um, be right back with um, when they start when it starts embroidering the butterflies. Okay, so once I got to the butterfly, I kind of changed my mind on a lot of things. Um, originally, I had black on the butterfly, the black background, but I thought that would be just a harsh color on this lavender um, for a little girl's blanket and so I changed it to more of a pewter color and it looks like it's a more softer it's like a, a dark gray so it looks really good with this lavender mink and originally I had was going to put this pink which seems a little bold so I'm going to use um, this this lavender it's, it is lavender maybe not in the camera you can see it but it's a it's a little bit of a lavender pink I guess you can say so I'm going to use that as the color of the main color of this butterfly and I lowered my thing Let's thread it I like to get my thread straight there we go Okay, so here we go. So the design I bought um, basically stitches the entire outside of the... Hang on. It's outlining it. I don't want that. Um, let's cut that. I don't like that. We're going to go back to the original stitch. You can do that by going to your stitches on your PE800. And we're going to go back. Okay. So I'm going to go back because I don't like that. I thought it was an out. I thought this was going to be the inside of the. This is why the stitch simulator stitch. Stimulator is so important, um, and I did have, I was using it. <laughs> okay, so now it's doing the outline. 
basically. So basically I should just keep with the same pewter color. One moment, please. So now it's stitching the, it looks like it's watering the outline of the butterfly. And I want to keep that the pewter color, like this dark gray. According to my stitch simulator, it's going to do that, and then it's going to do the body of the actual butterfly, and I think I'm just going to stick it the body with a red, like, pewter gray that I've got on here, because inside the butterfly is going to be that lavender color. So I totally changed it up. I didn't even do the um, larger butterfly that was going to be here. I just stuck with just my single butterfly. I didn't even do, there was supposed to be some white, like, checker, I don't know. It wasn't even dots. It was kind of some goofy looking stuff around here, but I didn't like that. I, I liked the plain um, butterfly that came out. It looked really, it was more detailed than I expected. See, very, very pretty. And I went and stuck with the lavender. But here it is, just my little piece of mink. And I will put this with the fabric um, now, hang on. Okay, so here is the mink fabric. My, this is the back of the meat fabric. The design is on the inside and I have the back of the um, flannel uh, baby flannel on the color actual is on the inside So your nice pretty color and your nice pretty mink is facing each other and Your backside of each fabric is on the outside And I've got it laid out and I've got it all pinned ready for sewing on the edges This is going to be a pretty large blanket and um, this is for my daughter. So it's a child size so um, this one is roughly um, 34 by 50 in size. Not sure if I'm gonna do this size, um, like right off the bat. This is my first blanket, by the way. So it did take up, to me it took a lot of minky, mink fabric. And I know I got this on sale, this mink fabric. So typically uh, what I have found is the mink is like 14 bucks a yard and that's pretty steep to me so i'll wait till it gets on sale again or i'm gonna find a wholesaler maybe alibaba or something like that so continue watching for me sewing i'll just do a show a little bit of that and then i'm going to show a little bit of sewing after um i put it wrong side out and then i'll show you the final project 